coastal schools return to school today and parents are really concerned about how they're going to fund their children's education. But they needn't worry as I'm joined in studio by Nico Kutsia who's an investment expert and he's going to speak us through saving for your child's education. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Now, we've been chatting to analysts over the last week who've described to us the education inflation rate, which is 10%, obviously well above mm. um, you know, the, the normal year-to-year -year increases South African parents are getting on their salaries. So investing for your child's future seems to be the way to go. Mm. Definitely. I think the, the challenge that many people face is oh, there are a number of things. I think the first point is just getting people to invest actually thinking about their child's education before they actually get to that point. So one of the things that we always say is start saving as soon as possible because obviously the longer you have, the more you have, the more time you have to build up on that compounding effect. So that's a key thing is just before we even start talking about the different ways in which you can invest is make sure that you start saving as soon as, as, soon as possible. Um, the fact that it's 10%, which is more than inflation, is, is very challenging for investors given the given what's happening in the market, given where all the different asset classes are, what cash is giving you, what stocks are giving you. So it's a, it, it, makes, it makes saving even more challenging, which means that when we construct these portfolios or these investment accounts for our, our child or children's education, we have to think very carefully about how we put those portfolios together to ensure that we achieve those objectives, but at the same time not put our money at too much risk. Let's speak about the parents who are expecting a baby this year or perhaps who've just had a child and realize that now is the right time to start saving. Where does that, that parent put their money? There's just so many options out there. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, those are very smart parents. Um, I, uh, there are a number of different options. So from a, sort of from a wrapper perspective or from a product perspective, as we call it, there are effectively two different options. There's a you can invest in unit trusts, um, which is basically a pooled vehicle that gives you access to a number of different underlying securities. It's also got a very low investment amount, which allows people from, from all walks of life to access those investments. So it's investing directly into unit trusts. And then the more traditional way is investing in, in, a, in an endowment policy. Uh, more the traditional education plans used to go into an, uh, an endowment type policy structure which gives you some tax benefits but there's some limit limitations in, in terms of liquidity. So basically it's those two main products. Either put my money directly into unit trusts or do it through some sort of a policy structure where depending on my tax rate that may or may not make sense.